Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia. Broadcast for today. Protection of Armenian Heritage at the Sixth Summer University. President Armena Abrahamian. Valuable mission, Guillermo Karamanian. On 11 September, the regular session has been held of National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia. The descendant of the survivors of the genocide against the Armenians calls for global action. Will the Sotk open pit gold mine reopen? The story of the Islamized Armenian woman who survived the genocide against Armenians in the movie DF. Ode to Goddess Astrik, Titsuhi Astrik, from the ancient Armenian rosary book, Kurum Harut Arakilian. The National Council of Western Armenia organized its sixth summer university dedicated to the preservation and development of Armenian heritage. The event took place on 8 September 2024 at the Notre Dame de Nareg Armenian Church in Lyon, a place that greatly symbolizes Armenian spiritual and cultural heritage. After the event, Mr. Armenia Abrahamian, the president of the National Council of Western Armenia, addressed the audience. In his speech, Mr. President highly appreciated the role of the Samar University in protecting the Armenian heritage and passing it on to the next generations. Mr. Abrahamian emphasized that such initiatives are of great importance for the preservation of the identity of the Armenian people as they contribute to the vivid remembrance and transmission of our historical values to the younger generation. He mentioned that the Summer University is not only an educational in its nature, but also an ideological platform to promote the unification of the Armenian people and the recognition of our cultural and historical identity. This was a unique opportunity to once again commemorate our historical heritage, our centuries-old history, our national identity, which has been formed in these lands for thousands of years, emphasized Mr. President Armena Abrahamian. He also added that Western Armenia as the successor of the state of Armenia established by the Treaty of Severus in 1920 continues to represent and protect the rights and interests of our people on international platforms. Our people have one Armenian state, that is Western Armenia, which is based on our national rights, stipulated in the Treaty of Severus, he said. He called for unity, promoting the power of national unity, because only with joint efforts will it be possible to overcome the challenges faced by the Armenian people. We must continue to voice the demands of our people and keep our national identity alive, passing it on to future generations. Summed up his speech, President Armenia Gabrahamian. All those present had the opportunity to listen to the two leaders of the Republic of Western Armenia who personally appeared at the United Nations many times in defense of the rights of the Armenian nation. Current President Ms. Lydia Markosian and former President Mr. Armenia Gabrahamian are among them and they have been involved in this affair for many years. Starting from 2006 and until now, the representatives of Western Armenia are constantly present at the UN. They are represented in important structures such as the Office of the Expert Mechanics on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples and the World Intellectual Property Organization, where the voice of Western Armenia is heard as an indigenous historical millennial people who have lived in these places for more than 8,000 years, which for about 100 years were previously occupied by Turkey and Azerbaijan. Here are the permanent facts that are hidden both from the citizens of the Republic of Armenia and from the Armenians living in different cities of the world are highlighted. I am writing to you, Armenians, who are listening to me. You will decide your future. The whole passage you can find in our Western Armenian website. On 11 September, the regular session of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia took place, which was presented by the Chairwoman of the National Assembly, Ms. Nelly Harutunyan. The agenda of the meeting included a number of important issues on the basis of which the state of current political and cultural developments in the country was discussed. In the first part of the agenda, the list of official events of the Republic of Western Armenia was discussed to be held in September. This time, the topic of discussion was on the occasion of Gadiz Anahit. At the end of the session, the members of the parliament discussed a number of other current issues related to the country's internal and external policy, economic issues, as well as the implementation of cultural projects. Various opinions and recommendations were presented on these issues, which will help to decide the future steps for the development of Western Armenia. 
Eva Grigorian from Gyumri, now living in Washington, remembers the difficult memories of her ancestors who survived the genocide against the Armenians. Remembering the stories of cruelty, loss, and survival, she emphasizes the pain that uh, Armenians feel to these days. Based on family history, Grigorian is devoted to the preservation of Armenian culture and the demand for justice. Growing up as an heir of the genocide committed against Armenian, I often have mixed feelings. I often remember the evening discussions with my mother and father about the atrocities my family members suffered. My father told the story of my paternal grandparents being forced out of the village of Alashkert, present-day Turkey, and remembered how he had seen fields of Armenian heat sticking out of the ground in the summer heat. And while my maternal grandparents were fleeing from Mush, they witnessed a mother who, despite being dead, was still nursing her newborn child. My grandmother's family was executed in cars because they were a priest's family. My maternal grandfather was the only one from his family who survived and was transferred to the Red Cross orphanage. These stories, which have been passed down from generation to generation, make us constantly remember that we survived Turkey's brutal attacks. Eva Grigorian said, during the Artsakh War of 2020, her determination depended on realizing that it is necessary to protect what is constantly in danger. Jogovur Daily writes, on 14 May 2023, the operation of the Sotkop and Pit gold mine was stopped because starting from April 14, Azerbaijan started to fire the mine. The working personnel of the mine tried many times to do their work duties, but they were prevented by the shootings from different caliber firearms. After all this, it became impossible to carry out further work in the Sotkop and Pit mine, and after which a decision was made to stop the operation of the open pit mine. The editors of Arm Lure AM are receiving alerts from many residents of Vartanis that the salt copper pit gold mine will be exploited again in the near future. Regarding this issue, Arm Lure AM contacted with Ruzana Grigorian, the manager of external relations and social policy of Geoprometing Gold Company, to find out whether it is realistic to reopen the open gold mine and whether the rumors are true or not on reoperating the mine. In a conversation with Arm Lure AM, Rosanna Grigorian said that she does not have such information. In other words, some circles are deceiving the people of Artenis. Sarah Agjan, a photographer and director with Armenian Roots, told Emeni Haber AM about his documentary film DF and its heroine, her grandmother who survived the 1915 genocide against the Armenians. Agjan described her entry into the field of photography and cinematography, noting that photography has always been a means of self-expression to understand her geography. In 2003, she founded the NAR Photos Photography Association, and in 2006, the Merhaba Barev Mero project, which was aimed at establishing relations between the Armenian and Turkish societies. Agjan says that she learned about her grandmother's story by chance and decided to study it, but she faced many difficulties due to the lack of information and the silence of the past. Her documentary film DF, based on letters to her grandmother, presents her story as an Armenian woman and many similar fates in Western Armenia. Agjan emphasizes that such stories are difficult to hear, especially for those who live in remote areas of Western Armenia. Aslik is an Armenian goddess who symbolizes love, beauty, and kindness. Kurmhaut Arakelyan is also dedicated to goddess Aslik about her kindness, about her unselfish love. Dear viewers, you can find the whole all day in our Western Armenian website. This was all for today. Goodbye.